Anatomy of the Soas Iliacus Muscle Anatomy of the Soas Iliacus Muscle is very interesting. You have the Soas Major and sometimes the Soas Minor when present, and then you have the Iliacus Muscle. The psoas major muscle arises from the transverse processes and the lateral aspects of the vertebral bodies of T12 to L1. Insertion. The psoas runs downward across the pelvic brim and then passes deep to the iliuingular ligament where it then forms a tendon past the hip joint capsule, which inserts into the lesser trochanter of the femur. Here you can see the muscle from origin to insertion. Innervation of the psoas major occurs from L1 to L3 of the lumbar plexus, L1, L2, and L3. Function the main function of the psoas major muscle is hip flexion. How about the iliacus? The iliacus arises from the iliac fossa on the interior side or the inner side of the ilium and also from the region of the anterior inferior iliac spine, as you can see here in this diagram. It inserts into the base of the lesser trochanter of the femur. And you can see the iliacus from origin to insertion in this diagram. Innervation. The nerve supply of the iliacus comes from branches of the femoral nerve. Iliacus function. As part of the iliopsoas, the iliacus contribute to flexion of the hip joint. The iliopsoas tendon is separated from the hip joint by an iliopsoas bursa, as you can see here. This is a cross section of the hip joint showing the iliopsoas bursa in relationship to the hip joint. Here you can see the course of the femoral nerve and the obturator nerve. These two nerves are in the vicinity of the muscles. Psoas and iliacus muscle assessment, testing the hip flexion strength. At the patient lifts the knee straight up of the examination table, the examiner then applies download pressure into the knee in order to assess the hip flexion strength. Iliopsoas compartment syndrome. Both muscles are in the extra peritoneal space, and that space sometimes is referred to as the iliopsoas compartment. Muscles within the compartment are iliacus, psoas major, psoas minor when present. Causes of compartment syndrome in the pelvis. The pelvis is an extremely rare site to develop compartment syndrome. However, hemorrhage in the pelvis and iliopsoas hematoma may occur and usually are caused by severe trauma, anticoagulation therapy, hemophilia, or other blood diseases. Clinical presentation, flexion attitude of the involved hep, Pain with passive extension of the involved hip. Tenderness along the iliuingonal ligament. Parathesia around the medial side of the knee in the distribution of the saphenous nerve. This is a very important slide. That parathesia around the medial side of the knee in the distribution of the saphenous nerve will point you to irritation of the femoral nerve, which is inside the iliopsoas compartment. Diagnosis and treatment of iliopsoas hematoma. Measurement of pressure is difficult. MRI or CT scan can help in the diagnosis. Treatment is usually conservative with observation. 
and correction of the coagulation defect if present. Surgical intervention is rarely needed. Iliopsoas abscess. A primary abscess is caused by hematogenous spread of infection. The infection starts in the muscle itself. In a secondary abscess, the infection spreads from another area to the psoas muscle. For example, the infection may travel from the spine when it is infected by tuberculosis. Historically, this is a main cause of a secondary psoas abscess, and it is called Pott's disease. A pyogenic infection can also spread from the spine to the psoas muscle, causing secondary abscess. It can also spread from the sacroiliac joint, from the kidneys or bowels. The iliopsoas abscess may initially present with signs and symptoms in the buttock, hip, or thigh. Such signs and symptoms may be obscure, non-specific, and misleading. Abscess of the psoas muscle is a diagnostic dilemma with difficult diagnosis that's often overlooked and delayed. The patient may be lying supine with the head flexed and refuses to move, resisting any attempt for examination. With psoas involvement, the hip appears to be flexed with limited and painful range of motion. This diverts attention away from the abdomen or a pelvic source of infection. The patient may have a low-grade fever and cannot straighten the leg. A high index of suspicion is necessary and the diagnosis is aided by performing the SOA sign and an MRI. The SOA sign is helpful in diagnosing the SOA abscess. The patient is positioned on the side and the hip is extended to see if there is pain present in the iliopsoas region. So what is the summary of clinical manifestation of iliopsoas abscess? Pain in the abdomen, flank or groin, low back pain, flexion posture of the hip. Psoas abscess is rare and present with vague clinical features, and it's often missed. The iliopsoas muscle is also involved in a snapping hip syndrome. A snapping hip syndrome is a condition involving the iliopsoas bursa in which an audible snap or click of the iliopsoas tendon occurs over the iliopectineal eminence. So that audible click or snapping sensation usually occurs with hip movement and may or may not be painful. How about subtrochanteric fracture? What is the role of the iliopsoas muscle? The iliopsoas flexes the proximal fragment in subtrochanteric fracture of the femur, and this complicates reduction of subtrochanteric fractures. Other important clinical conditions. The iliac vessels are one centimeter away from the iliopsoas at the level of the pelvic brim and three centimeter from the iliopsoas at the level of the lesser trochanter. Tenotomy of the iliopsoas during anteromedial approach for reduction of congenitally dislocated hip risks injury to the medial femoral circumflex artery. In total hip replacement, leaving the anterior rim of the estabular component proud above the estabulum may result in impingement of the iliopsoas tendon. Patient may have groin pain, snapping pain, or pain with passive hip extension. Evaluate the patient with an X-ray, cross-table lateral, or CT, and give the patient an injection into the tendon sheath. And revision surgery may be necessary. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.